I'm continuing this BI Byte series talking about Power Pivot. I'd like to show one of the features of the SharePoint server Power Pivot add-on. This is the Power Pivot gallery. You can build powerful applications in Power Pivot, combining data from a range of sources for analysis. Rather than these applications being limited to individuals, you can publish them to SharePoint and they get stored in this gallery. There's a nice Silverlight carousel interface that allows you to scroll through items in the gallery, including getting previews of what the document looks like. Some of them have this little padlock item, which means I don't have permissions to view this particular file. There are other ways to view this library. There's the gallery view, which again gives the user previews of the files. There's the theatre view, which lets you see the files in a horizontal display, complete with hover over previews. Or there's a standard list view. Some of these files are published as reports, some as Excel files. Most of these Power Pivot files will be hooked up to data sources. I can click on the menu for a file and manage the data refresh. I get this settings screen for organising how the data should be refreshed. I can set a schedule for the refresh of data. I can choose for the refresh to happen outside of business hours if the data connection puts a strain on the network. I can choose whose credentials to apply. Finally, I can choose which of my data connections I want to be refreshed automatically. By having these Power Pivot files stored centrally, it becomes possible to manage the data within them to make sure that people are looking at the appropriate version of the data, as opposed to the situation where people have files on their computers that might or might not be up to date. Back in my library, I can use Excel web apps to view these Power Pivot applications. Here I see a spreadsheet with graphs and tables comparing Contoso sales to the industry for three years. I can use the slices to just show re results for certain subsets of channel. So as an end user, I can view this data and see how the company is comparing to others. I can see the results, but I don't have to worry about where the data might have come from.